This is Chad Ikes with Courage Barbell. Today, I got a couple of my guys in here, Jeff and Paul's running behind the camera, behind the scenes guy. Uh, I wanted to talk about something I've been seeing progressively in videos on Instagram and my favorite social media bullshit. People are, are taking their bench off and they're starting completely wrong before they even get to the bench. The whole idea in powerlifting is to be as efficient as possible and you want the start of the lift to be as close to perfect so that way you can finish the lift perfect. If you start the lift completely screwed, odds are you're going to screw the rest of the lift. So I'm going to have Jeff demonstrate kind of what I've been seeing uh, in a lot of bench presses earlier. So first, kind of start off with like a bodybuilding one. So he's going to take it out of the rack right here, and you can see his, his actual shoulders are up up this way and his shoulders are elevated towards his head and the bar is straight up and down but this is not how we start a bench press so go ahead and rack it and now what I want you to do is I want you to set up correctly with your shoulder blades retracted your shoulders depressed your legs driving you up And now he's already got his lats pulled down. It's pulling his elbows down at a 45 degree angle. And he's going to take it off the rack. And now he's starting right here. And you can see from the side, his arms are straight up and down. He can hold the weight comfortably and everything's loaded up in his back. This is the way we want to start a bench press. So when he goes, all he's got to do is take this little angle and bam, right up. Efficiency of movement. Now, one of the problems, one of the biggest problems I've been seeing is people will get their shoulders down and depressed, but what they'll do is they'll start with the bar up here because that's what they're used to doing. And what happens is, go ahead and rack it. What happens is when you have a lot of weight, you're down in this position right here. But if you take the bar up here and you can see this angles here, your elbows are going to want to come out and your shoulders going to want to come out because they're going to want to come up under that bar like this. So you want everything down and you're going to start with the bar down. If that makes sense, go again properly. So right now he's squeezing his lats down. If I reach underneath here, his shoulder blades are as tight as he can get them. He's going to take off the bar. He's twisting against his thumbs. His elbows are at a 45 degree angle. And right now, everything is straight over that bar. This is where we want. This is where we want. And now he's going to have a small arc to hit and back up. If he was to start with the bar here, he's going to try to do that correct natural arc. But instead of coming down here, it's going to come here. And what's going to happen is as it gets heavier and he holds it here, as I said, these shoulders are going to come up. His elbows are going to come out, and then we'll go ahead and let it come out like this. Then when he comes down, he's going to end up doing that, which is horribly out of position. Go ahead and rack it. Or the other option is to try to start here and go like this, which is kind of an old school way to look at it, and then back up to here. But once I get under a ton of weight, how am I actually going to get my shoulders back down to where I need them? If I start to press here, I'm already locked in. My back supports the weight at the top. All I got to do is come down, back up. So hopefully, it's kind of hard to explain some of this stuff in video. Like if you ever came here and did a seminar or did some client training, I could actually hands-on fix this. But hopefully, this video kind of explains a little bit what's going on and what you guys need to do. And that's it for today. Please like the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Please share this channel. And I'll see you guys next time.